हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज ए लैप्रोस्कोपिक मायोमेक्टोमी फॉर लार्ज सब म्यूकस मायोमा सो वी विल डू लैप्रोस्कोपी हेयर दिस इज द बेस बॉल डायमंड कंसेप्ट वी विल मेक ए शेप ऑफ ए डायमंड एंड हेयर द टेलीस्कोप विल बी पुट सुपरा अम्लाइकल जस्ट अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फाइव सेंटीमीटर एब ऑफ द पिबिक सिम्फाइसिस दैट विल बी फॉर कैमरा पोर्ट जनरली दिस आर्क इज ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर and the telescope will be at 18 cm this is 7.5 cm lateral to the umbilicus so here will be one port and other there are three port only we will use for this surgery and now the variation will be introduced first so two click sound suction irrigation and hanging drop test just to confirm that various needle is inside the abdomen this is hanging drop and it is pulled in after that we will attach the tubing of the insufflator and pneumoperitoneum will be created so minimum 1.5 and maximum 3 liter gas is generally required pneumoperitoneum is over after that we will enlarge the incision to 11 mm and this optical just dilate it then optical optical port that is 10 mm port is introduced hissing sound gas is attached telescope is introduced under vision the working port will be introduced then we do diagnostic after that we will do hysteroscopy also in this case just to confirm that at which wall of the uterus there is attachment of myoma MRI of this patient has shown that there is a 6 cm myoma which has indentation approximately 4 cm in the cavity so this is grade 1 submucous myoma in which maximum is in the cavity and one th one third is approximately in the muscle so any myoma which is more than 4 cm size you can do hysteroscopy but it doesn't have good outcome and you have to do in multiple stages so here we can see this is a large myoma inside the uterine cavity it is almost occupying the entire uterine cavity so and it is attached with the anterior wall we can see here so in that situation we are planning to perform this is large myoma so it is better to do this is the ostia ostia is good this is right ostia it is visible then we will plan here to perform the laparoscopic myomectomy so this is anterior wall myoma you can see the bulge also is on the anterior side but it has deep intramural with the maximum sub mucus extension so this is the vasopressin we injecting it and as you know this is a five international unit in 20 ml saline and we can see marble white appearance now it is becoming paler and then with the harmonic incision will start
we have to cut the muscle deep because it is sub mucous myoma and of course cavity will open in that situation but with efficient suturing it can be closed also now this is time to introduce my my screw incision need to be little more increased because my mass size is large so little more incision all around equal traction pushing and pulling technique should be used it is coming My my screw is reoriented to maximize the traction. Evolution of the endometrium should be avoided. So you can use once you reach to the base, you can use harmonic just to cut the muscles. Well, the care should also be taken that it is coming out now. This is the part which was extended into the cavity, and this is cavity is open as you can see. And it is out. so we can see here the part which you are seeing the color that was in the cavity and now we will start the suturing and we will take a muscle at the level of the basal layer and the first layer the cavity the wall should be approximated we are using here the v lock suture the suture should be introduced through the serosa in v lock suture there is a starter loop and once you will introduce the needle through the loop you will get a starter knot so in v lock suture termination is not required but a starting is required because it is a unidirectional barb suture it is just like a dandy jamming knot and once you will pull it it get locked after that further suturing will continue so the margins of this endometrial lining should be approximated it's not a big opening and together with the muscle it will my margins will be approximated and cavity will be closed
So, this is the first layer of suturing. And after that, we will bring the needle again out of the muscle and it will come out through the serosa. Healthy serosa. And then we will start returning back. In this case, during returning back, baseball suturing was performed. In baseball, always you will go from inside out. So, the margins will get inverted. In baseball suturing, it should not be locked. So, locking is avoided here. And anyway, in barb suture, you do not need to lock. You have to hold the needle in waist ball suturing reverse, so that always your needle should come from in to out. So, you can see after tightening the previous knot margin will get inverted. This is a three port suturing, three port surgery. So, you should use the suture also as a traction when you are pricking the tissues, suture should give counter traction. Again, this is reverse bite from in to out. There is one small subserious myoma which you are seeing there, that also we will remove at the end. So, now it is reached to the other end. And needle will be taken out again from the healthy serosa.
and this is the last exit point. and then you can cut the suture termination knot is not required. So, you can see margin is inverted. Then we will remove the needle and this is the starch morselator which is introduced and then myoma will be morselated. Now, slowly tip of the mosletter is pointed towards the upper abdomen, so that it will be away from the omentum or bowel and if we will give the gentle, gentle pull, then all of them can come at once. Slowly it will keep on rotating and it will come at once. So, this is over. there is no bleeding this small myoma also will be removed. This is the tenaculum of most later and it is out. Then the port closure is must, little suction irrigation just to clean and inspect and cul de sac if any blood is collected it should be sucked out. After that port closure is necessary because in those situation chances of hernia is very high especially from the morselator port. And the knot will be tightened outside except a skin all the layer. Peritoneum tear sometime go lateral to the wound because of tenting that is not the concern, but rectus peritoneum may be away, but muscles and rectus would must be approximated. So, thank you for watching this video.